Our religious leaders in the country have reiterated their commitment to work with the National Authority for the Campaign Against Alcohol and Drug Abuse, NACADA, in the fight against alcohol and drug abuse in the country. This is after the authority today held a meeting with religious leaders from different faiths across the country to review the status of alcohol and drug abuse in the country. During the meeting, the leaders acknowledged that the country is confronted with a serious, serious and growing problem of alcohol and drug abuse with overwhelming effects on the social and economic development of the people. Faith Muli with more. Speaking to journalists after the meeting, Nakada board chairperson Stephen Mairori and the CEO Anthony Omurikwa said the leaders had further raised concern over reports of emerging drugs that are highly potent and easily available to both the young and old. As we near the festive season, we urge our dear brothers and sisters to desist from alcohol and drug abuse, which has in the past resulted in unhealthy habits diseases and unavoidable accidents. In addition, we call on religious institutions to actively take part in the campaign against alcohol and drugs, noting that it is our collective responsibility to save and transform lives. During the meeting, it was agreed that the authority and religious leaders will collaborate in conducting public sensitization and advocacy to educate Kenyans on the facts and dangers of alcohol and drug abuse. This will be done through forums and various engagements with children, youth and families, as well as investment in mass media campaigns towards dissemination of drug abuse messages through various channels. They further agreed to take part in the design and running of treatment rehabilitation facilities in order to provide much-needed support to people affected by drug addiction. They will also collaborate in sharing information on perpetrators, illicit manufacturers, sale and consumption of alcohol and drug, as well as report on emerging trends in the community to enhance compliance and enforcement of laws related to alcohol and drug abuse. <laughs> The Church of God Overseer in Nairobi, Reverend Daniel Omamo, said the religious leaders had agreed to work hand in hand with Nakada to ensure the maintenance of drug abuse is combated. From now onwards, as he has addressed us, we are going to make sure that we deal with this thing, particularly our young men who have been uh, affect, mostly affected. We deal with it and make sure we leave them from this abuse. Sister Mary Nyambura from Catholic University underscored the concern for young people addicted to drugs and alcohol, expressing a commitment to offering a helping hand in bringing them back to a healthier life. Emphasizing a preventive approach, she stated that the focus will also be on preventing relapses to ensure sustained recovery. We have a great concern over our young people who are addicted in drugs and alcohol and because they are our brothers and sisters, we would like to offer a hand in bringing them back to the fold, to bring them back home. Sheikh Yusuf Abu Hamza from the soup camp said no one will be left behind in the fight against alcoholism, adding that addicts are people who need help, hence the need for religious leaders to assist them in overcoming the challenges. We are looking at these people as people who need help. As uh, religious people, of course, our mission is to uh, mission and also minister as well as assist anyone who needs help. And these people, these are our brothers who need help. Together uh, with Nakada, we are going to work together to see how we can help them. The collaborative efforts signal a united front in addressing the challenges posed by substance abuse in the country. The, the next, uh, question. Faith Muli, Hope TV News Watch.